Hey everyone, for those of you that have been following me, you've probably seen the Unreal Engine 5 project that I released recently. It's been a big hit. People love it. It's part of my Unreal Engine course. That is still available on sale. You can check the links below. If you follow that link, you will get a discount on the course. It's super cheap, by the way. But in addition to that, I also like to give away parts of the course for free, which are usually little tidbits of information that I think are interesting and helpful to the broader public. So in this video, I'm going to give away the part about Megascans trees because I think they're a very useful tool that everyone can use. They're free for everyone to use. Are they free? Yeah, they should be free for everyone. And I'm just going to show you how to implement them into your scene. They're parametric, so you can actually adjust the color, the the seasons, the the health of the tree, some of the leaf growth, and they look super good. I can confirm that I got really good results with them very easily. And I'll show you how to do that. I think you'll love them. Check out the video and check out the course if you're interested in learning more about how to create the project that I've shown. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna be releasing more previews of Unreal Engine stuff, but also my V-Ray stuff, 3DS Max stuff, all the different content I've got. You can check out all the courses on that stuff and also subscribe here for the free previews as they are released. Thanks and enjoy the video. Okay, now I'm going to talk about how to get some trees in here because that's going to really change the look and advance the look of our current project. And Megascans makes trees available too for free. They're in beta, but they work. And I'll show you how to make them work. First of all, you got to get them by going to the Epic Games Launcher Marketplace. If you type in Megascans trees... should bring up this European black alder early access and it's really just this black alder tree but there's a lot of trees available and look how cool they look I mean they're really really good high quality and I'll show you you get tons of control over them and I can confirm that like I got similar results to this and you get all these different sizes and ages of trees and two different kinds of wind being generated. You also get this controller that gives you control over the season, the age, the health, and also the wind controls. It's pretty cool stuff. So you have to download this, and once you have it, you can say add to project. And you'll, you'll see that supported engines are versions 425 through 427. However, we will make it work. We will add to project and we will show all projects. We will find our current project. It's this one. And it says asset not compatible with version 5.0. Please select closest alternative version. Okay, so I'm adding to 4.27. And I wonder if that will work if you don't have 4.27 added on your loaded on your computer? I don't know. I think I do have 4.27 and maybe that's why it gives me the option. I'm not sure, but it does allow me to add to project even though 5.0 isn't one of the options. Files for making scans trees, early access already exists in the project. Do you want to replace them? Okay, obviously for me I've already added it, but in this case you wouldn't get this if you haven't already added it to the scene. Okay. So once you've added it to the scene, you will get, it will go into the content folder and it'll just be under black alder. Okay, and you'll have all these different things here. And you will also get MS presets. Okay, and here is where you have the MS foliage material and you have the global foliage actor. And in here you have the Blueprint Global Foliage Actor. This is what you can drag into your scene. Oh, one important note is that when I dragged, let's see what I'm doing here, Content, Black Alder, Geometry, we have two different kinds of winds, the Pivot Painter Wind and the Simple Wind. We'll just go with Simple Wind for right now. 
Another important thing is that that there is the field versions of trees and also the forest versions. Meaning the field are getting more sunlight because they're out in the open and so they grow in a different shape. And the forest ones are in a thick forest so they grow tall and skinny and their leaves get towards the top because they're searching for sunlight. Okay, so let's take this one and just drag it in. Important thing that I was going to mention is that for me to get this to work properly, I had to re-enable virtual textures in the pro project settings. Otherwise, my tree textures were not building properly. Okay, and I showed that before, but again, if you go to project settings, virtual textures, okay, enable virtual texture support. If you're turning that on, if you're toggling that, it'll require an engine reset. Before I had it turned off because when I brought in Megascan stuff, I didn't want it enabled because I didn't want them automatically turned to virtual because I was causing problems with those. But if you want to leave it on, every time you bring in a Megascans thing, it, it may have a v, uh, VT here for virtual texture and you can right click on it and say convert to tex virtual texture. And that essentially will do the same thing. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk again about this global foliage actor. If you bring it into your scene and put it out of the way, because it'll render, I already had one in here as a test, but we only want one. You'll see it has a windsock on it. Let me change my camera speed here. We can change the wind speed. So when we select it, we can go into the details of it and we can change the wind speed to 20. Now we see the wind is really strong on our tree. It looks ridiculous, actually. Okay, so we'll turn that down. That was the wind strength. The wind speed can also be adjusted, and we'll put that to something else. Let's try putting that up to 100. So that's telling it how fast to kind of undulate or vibrate. Okay, wind tiling, wind noise. So all these are pretty self-explanatory. It's controlling the wind. I actually like the wind like so, so subtle or off entirely. Okay, no more wind. Okay, so we can adjust the season strength. So we can tell it like start turning in color and all that stuff. You can go heavier so that it becomes completely fall colors, right? And then you can do the season brightness, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory. Season saturation. You go into the heavy reds, right? I mean, this is starting to look fake, but if that's the look you want, and you see how it kind of like starts on the outside and moves its way in, super cool, because that's it's mimicking what real trees do, right? Yeah. So if we look in here close, we'll see what the health is doing to it. So look at the center of that leaf and you see how it changes. Okay, so that's to add variation and stuff like that. And as you go back in season, so like with the green leaf, you can see the health better. Okay, so super healthy leaf, not so healthy leaf, season. Okay, so that's actually a pretty good looking fall tree if you want to use that. I mean, you can do color variation too, so a lot of control you can have over these Megascans trees, and I think they render just really, really nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now that I have the Megascans trees going is I will place some of them individually, and then I will also place some with the foliage tool inside of UE5, and we will check that out in the next video, kind of placing and building our entire forest.